Here we go, Mana Church. Again, let's finish this third week strong. We are contending for the faith. Um, we were eliminating lies. We're shutting down those lies that the enemy continues to whisper over our lives. Um, we'll replace them with truth tomorrow. Let me take press this in just a little bit deeper as we get toward really to this week's dangerous prayer when it comes to contending is, Father God, may others sense your presence in me. You want to be the most, you want to be the unstoppable force on planet Earth? Carry God's presence everywhere you go. That's how you contend. Uh, nothing on planet Earth changes without God's presence uh, pu push coming against the gates of hell. I mean, that, so we're don't miss this Wednesday night. We are going to contend and tear down a bunch of strongholds over your life and over uh, this region here in Okaloosa County, and we're going to fight uh, the good fight in the faith. But first, uh, we've got to identify those lies. And what I want to focus on today is um, if we want to be the people of presence, we need God's grace in our life. Let's let's again identify these lies and let's even go a, a healthy step forward and repent. Repent to God the Father for believing them. And, and really just, because again, if you don't repent, if you don't ask for forgiveness, he can't, he can't forgive. If you don't confess the fact that many of us have walked in that false identity for long times. Let me just give you three very unpopular... <laughs> Are very popular false identities that Christians walk in all the time. You, you, many of, and you may believe this. You may believe you're unlovable. You may believe you're unworthy of God to move in your life or move through your life. And you may believe you're unredeemable. All three of those are lies. And when they, you let them latch on to your life for long, they, they obviously take you away from God's purpose for your life. So let's if those three categories, anything near those categories, or maybe something else the Lord's brought to mind as you've been praying, if if those stick on you, uh, let's let's ask God, Lord, forgive me. In you, Jesus, I am lovable. <laughs> uh, Lord, in you, I am worthy. I'm worthy to be near the Father. I'm worthy for his presence to both flow in my life and through my life. I'm redeemed. Lord, I think about the lyric of the song I've been listening to over and over that um, anything that's negative, you you name it, Jesus, you overcame it. Whatever you can think of, that, that false label that's been stuck to you, you just name it because Jesus overcame it. Unworthiness, Jesus overcame it. Unlovableness, Jesus <laughs> overcame it. Uh, uh, unredeemable, I'm unredeemable. That's a lie because Jesus redeemed you. He bought you back for the most valuable price. He paid the highest price, his own life, his blood shed for your redemption. You are now worthy. You are now loved. You are now redeemed. Uh, you are uh, now seen and fully complete and fully accepted in Jesus Christ. Hide yourself in Jesus, church, so that we can find ourselves who he's really calling us to be. Man, let's keep pressing in. One more, or this last week to go, we're contending. Uh, so excited for tomorrow night, our final corporate gathering of prayer. And then again, this whole train is heading towards Connect Sunday. So small group leaders, if you haven't got your small group in, get that in. We're so excited how God's going to move through us, the loved ones, the worthy ones, the redeemed ones for his glory. Amen.